the topic of IT was kind of new, and when I was driving to you, I also looked through various news, what they say about it on the internet and what they write about it. And they exactly say why it is so hard to create artificial consciousness, because they don't understand at all, and that consciousness is a big secret for them. They don't know and don't understand how it operates, how it works, and they also search for it in a brain. You see, what habit do we have? We think that our consciousness Complexity. is a product of activity of our neurons. The product of activity of our neurons is a signal. Say, you saw I was waving my hands, right? Imagine how many should pass so that my hand waves, how many commands and so on. One neuron sends an impulse to another for me to wave my finger here. And the like. So that's how it works. Yes. They do command, it's after all, without the neurons I wouldn't have moved my finger, right? Yes. So what does a neuron send? Simply one, zero. Impulses. For example, or information. Information, what to do. And that's where the main difference lies. And we were struggling for a long time, but then we came to understand what the difference is between a simple computer between its bit and a neural impulse that moves from a neuron to a neuron. So this little neuron in the head sends not merely an impulse, but a filled one. You see? Not emptiness. That is particularly filled with information. What's going on in our computer? We run empty rail cars. A non empty rail car goes through an axon. If our consciousness were driving empty rail cars, well, I understand the speed of signal transmission and so on is not very high. We don't have that many neurons to have so many pictures, and especially for the chemistry to work like that, our head would be like, I don't know. Firstly, it would be a lot bigger. Secondly, it would overheat faster. Although everything has a loss of energy and everything else, that's what cerebrospinal fluid is for. It's a cooling fluid, well, and many other things, just like blood circulation. All these things are in their places in the head. Believe me, it's an analog of a modern computer, even a supercomputer. But all of its super are about the fact that it doesn't run empty rail cars.